The thing that impressed me most was the fact that uh, this project had to take off vertically like a helicopter, change its uh, orientation and fly like an airplane and then land. Many, many airplanes companies have tried to do it, only one or two have succeeded, V-22 from Bell and a few others. So it was amazing that this young, man, young group was able to put together such a winning project. I'd say the most challenging thing was that working with people from other universities, you can't just walk down the hallway and talk to them. So if you have a problem or someone doesn't see your message, you just kind of have to deal with that, figure it out on your own, or wait till the next meeting when you're going to be able to talk to them. So that's the hardest aspect of that. One of the challenges is that we work with people from different backgrounds. For example, some of the, some of the students were mechanical engineers. So we had a difficulty in like, letting them understand uh, aerospace engineering concepts. And, uh, but then we were able to handle those challenges. One of our biggest struggles was having some students be more committed to the project than others. Uh, and with that lack of disparity, some students are taxed more with having to do more than the others, which naturally happened with group projects. However, we were able to overcome that uh, since a lot of the students on our team were uh, and still turned out a really great product, which we're super proud of.